We have four opponents in a four-way matchup. This is not a tag, ladies and gentlemen. And what a variety of wrestlers, a variety of skill levels, experience, and just absolute characters we have in here right now. I think I'd give the advantage just from the offset. I think we agreed before this matchup happened. Well, Paul Goliath will be and will have the most experience, or at least the biggest size in this one. He is Goliath for a reason, Doc Man. He is an absolute giant. Much bigger than his opponents, although we have a lot of size on the youngster, Caden Rose, as well. Jeff Rosette, Wiley Veteran, and Mark Coleman, as well, with sabotage across his heights. Any one of these four has a lot of possibilities here in the FML, and a winner will definitely rise up the ranks here. Coast to coast, Goliath and Coleman already seem to have a union here. A little bit of a team going. Good tactic against the underhanded tactics often of Caden Rose and Jeff Rosette. But when push comes to shove, well, team members or not, you're going to have to fight them off to see who can win this matchup. Dropkick from Goliath who shows a lot of agility and a lot of height. His leg strength here as well. Yeah, I, I keep my eye on, still like you were saying about Goliath, he seems to be the most fit. Oh, not the most quickest though. Well, Caden Rose is the president of the Caden Rose fan club for sure. I've known that man ever since the first day he went into training at Turch Chamber. And he has absolutely grown leaps and bounds in agility, but only eclipsed by his arrogance. Ooh, Abitage knows that. Abitage takes advantage quick. Ooh. Height there too. Good speed by Mark Coleman. Sabotage. Up and over. Slingshots himself in the dropkick right in the chest. Puts down the man from the land of the tight. Ooh. Set wily. Intelligent in the ring. You can get it done against any opponent. Experience, size, and can do it all, and has fought off a lot against some of the biggest names in all of Ooh, Quebec. Drop to a hole. Rips his leg over. Fans are not happy. You can hear them rallying against Reset here. And another one. Iskus Larry puts him down, going for the pin. How do you kick out of that? I know how Coleman kicked that out. That's a lot of heart. Woo! Big slaps. The Goliath comes and backs up with big fists, big slaps. The man from Saguenay came here to make an impact. Floater! Goes down! And that modified spine buster slam. That was a close one. Goliath up down. Good tight. Heard Amigo coming up. Aiden Rose showboating as he does. Absolutely hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. But you can't deny the man's skill. And what amazing shape. He's been getting in better and better shape every month I've been seeing him. Almost a pinfall, usually flanked by all the members of Team Tight. We got one of his compatriots outside right now. Be good for him, actually. Well, Dawson hasn't gotten into the match so far. Almost gets the pin. These teams, these sort of makeshift teams that Reset and Rose have made, and hopefully and thankfully, no Dawson interference yet. Set up to the top. Ooh, look out, Coleman. Not enough. Rose got in there quick. Yeah, he did because it is a single elimination here. First man to score, pinfall of submission, will win this matchup. You gotta look out for eyes in the back of your head. 
Lions reverses. Another big kick. The middle. Catches him with a spine buster. That might be it, folks. And like I we were referring to before, Will, might be teaming up, but in the end, you got to look out for number one. Set and Rose arguing. Hey, you can't, you can't piss off a set like that. I think we, it's safe to say Reset and Rose are no longer teaming up. Caden Rose only has about two years of experience, a little bit under that actually, under his belt. He would love a huge win against big names here and a win in the debut in FML. Every new promotion he goes to, he's looking for big wins and a matchup like this would definitely solidify his stature. He's out, sabotaged in. He's got Polly up. Ooh, scratch back. This is a lot. What a pre precarious predicament they have here. That's Dawson in. What's he doing? Trying to, oh, steal it for his tag team partner. He neutralized all three. This is easy pickings. Going for the pin. <sighs> Not enough. That was quick. Aiden going for oh, all no. three preps. Oh man. Not enough. Time's a charm. Oh, over three. That's Dawson incensed. Aiden Rose begging. I don't know what, what he's begging to the ref for. That's not going to change the finish. He's got a stick on his opponent. His inexperience Ooh. is showing. And you see that? Ref must have missed that. Reset with a pedigree goes down. That's it. All he needs is for the ref to turn around. Sabotage has got this. Almost. The DDT, a floating DDT. Mark Coleman, Paul Goliath. The last two men standing here. Be the best chance either one of these two has had to win this matchup in a flurry of fists from Paul Goliath. Ooh. Flams him. That's gotta be it. Oh my. The set just in time. Uh oh. He's trying to end this one. Another double hunter hook. Pedigree here. Paul got him. Oh, it slam goes for the pin. That's it, that's it, Apogalize. He had a buku gros volley for everyone in this ring. <laughs>